Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to create a robot that is based on stochastic as well as the simple moving average uh, 10. Uh, this was requested by Zek369. So it's not exactly clear what he wants with the robot, but uh, I'm going to attempt to interpret what he means and then. Uh, um, if I'm wrong, then uh, you can always check. You can always uh, get an idea from what I'm doing. But otherwise, uh, let's go on with it. So, can you create? Can you make a robot based on stochastic levels 60, 1, 1, and as a simple moving average period 10 cross with the trailing stop feature? So that's uh, his request. So I'm hoping that uh, this video is going to interpret exactly what you want. If not, at least I'll probably have given you an idea of the direction that you need to take because that's the point of these uh, videos. Uh, I'm not going to like uh, give you the whole thing, um, but uh, I'll try and point you in the right direction. Then you can always go and uh, do whatever you want to do and play around with the tools that we use. So it's just to give you an idea to spark that imagination and help you if you have a successful trading strategy that you think you can turn into a forex robot. So okay, uh, let's go to FX Dreamer. Uh, this is a previous robot that we did. You can watch the previous video after finishing watching uh, this one. So let's just. Uh, highlight everything and we right click and we delete um, hey if you are new to fx streamer you are probably going to have an example robot here as well as some text that's going to be here uh, just highlight everything right click and delete and then we can start together on a clean slate by the way if you are new on this channel just go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss uh, future videos like the video if you don't learn one or two things in this video at least maybe i've given you some good entertainment so go ahead and like the video that's the least you can do for me uh if you're looking to download stuff for its robots in getters books and stuff all those things that uh, people are selling out there you can download them for free using the links in the description box below everything that we do on this channel is for free the broker that i use the link is also in the description box below you want to sign up with them because you can open a real live trading account for just five dollars which is good for when you want to test strategies and indicators uh, systems and these robots that we are creating here and if the robot makes money with you know, gross that five dollars then obviously you can what add more to uh, that robot so let's go down with the video so the uh, robot our robot is going to be uh, based on stochastic as well as uh, the simple moving average 10 uh, cross so i'm going to try and interpret this as a meaning uh, okay, so before we get carried away, what we want to do obviously is to have some filters so that uh, we just set some basis for our robot. So, uh, we are going to use this because we want uh, the robot to check for uh, the, condi the these conditions. Uh, once per bar, we don't want to, to check or to take a thousand trades in one bar. So we just want to, to look at these conditions. Once per bar, if they exist, then uh, the robot will take what? Will take a trade. Or maybe then we just want to make sure also that the robot is uh, checking that there is no open trade yet. Uh, you can play with all these blocks. That's why I'm saying I'm just giving you the basics. There is a lot that you can do with uh, these uh, blocks here, uh, especially if you actually buy the subscription. Uh, at the moment, I'm using the free uh, subscription. Uh, it, it works for me. I, if I want uh, for M MetaTrader 5, I've shown you what I use for MetaTrader 5. Um, 
everything that we do on this channel is for free so i'm not going to have a subscription uh for now for the purposes of this uh channel so that's uh, uh that then now we are going to look for our conditions that's where we are actually going to start so maybe i'll set the moving average cross uh first because it's going to be like uh traditionally it's like right in the chart so we just uh, do that we're just linking everything together so we are going to double click in there then uh, we are going to look for candles to look for candles now you did not specify by like basically when price uh, crosses above the simple moving average you need it to cross by how many candles you need to cross uh, it to cross by what distance and stuff like that so i'm just going to uh, say the moment that uh, we get a cross now here it says is above so this is the moment of cross this is the moment of cross when it crosses above our simple moving average which is 10 it's 10 so at the moment we have a candle uh, crossing and this is going to be our current candle that's why it's uh, it's candle zero uh, maybe we can take that or maybe you choose which candle that you, you are looking for maybe you want uh, a candle to cross first and then what and close then the next candle is what you want to take as the trade currently is the moment this candle the current candle crosses above the moving average it's going to uh, take that buy uh, because we are setting the buy conditions uh, at the side it's going to take that buy and even if the candle drops below the moving average that buy would have been taken so maybe just to be safe maybe we can say uh two. we want uh the at least two or maybe one i'm just uh maybe so the last candle the last candle should have crossed uh, above the simple moving average 10 so the next candle is where we are we are going to take what we are going to take our our buy trade so you can just uh do that because i we can um this is so that we do not come back to fx streamer if we want to uh, tweak anything we can do that in metatrader uh four side without coming back to fx streamer then uh we just do that update i'm just setting the buys then uh, another condition that you had is stochastic uh, level 611 uh, again it's not it's it's a bit vague uh, for me uh, but i will i don't know uh, let's maybe do this uh, we, this is our second condition and we double click and we're going to have our um, indicator there which is uh, stochastic now i'm not sure whether this is what you mean uh 60 one one then uh, for the buy obviously it needs to be above the 20 um 20 uh level that's the standard we just uh, say 20 there and we just in case we just want to adjust it uh i don't know if this is uh what you mean but you can tick uh, these boxes uh so that you can still change everything on metatrader 5 uh, metatrader 4 sorry uh, metatrader 4 side without coming back to fx streamer uh so that will be uh this by conditions um uh, again it's not exactly clear well, what you mean but uh i'm that's uh, i'm trying to interpret what you mean then uh now that we have our two conditions there we can simply connect and have a buy there and then we have our our lots and we do have our 
uh, stop loss you can set it to whatever you want maybe 30 pips which is the standard uh, uh, stop loss and then uh, we maybe set it to a uh, hundred uh, maybe uh, giving us a nice good uh, risk to reward ratio there then for the cell we are just going to highlight uh, these two and we're going to copy them so that we don't start uh, from uh, zero and we're just going to move them uh, closer there and we're just going to link the two uh, like that and we're going to double click in there and definitely we are going to buy what this is the cell side now we are going to do the opposite so when it crosses below when it crosses below and we're just going to update and we're going to double click in there and we're again going to um, use that when it's below the 80 when it's below the 80 and we are going to update then we're going to take our cell button there and we're going to link it like that and just double click and go in there and again just change uh, these values we already used uh, 30 and we are going to use a hundred as our tech profit and basically you have your robot you have your robot let's see what else did you say you wanted the trailing stop feature trailing stop feature you come and get it here and so we are going to trail each trade and we are going to take that and we link it there and then we double click in there um, let's say we want the trailing stop to trail uh, to be behind price by how many maybe 10 pips now it's going to be a very tight uh, trailing stop maybe let's give it some room to breathe maybe 30 pips uh, depending on uh, how you are going to use your robot, if you are going to be scalping or things like that, then uh, trailing step. So uh, now the step is how it works is, for example, here it says one. So every uh, one positive pip, one one pip in your direction, is going to move the stop loss by uh, thirty pips. Uh, so yeah, it's something that you just want to think about. Uh, uh, because sometimes then the stop loss becomes too tight or sometimes uh, it becomes uh, too wide so it's something that you just want to think about here so we're just going to update otherwise this is uh, basically my interpretation of uh, this this will be my interpretation of your request uh, sec 369 so this is how you you would basically uh, create your robot these are the basics again um, there are many many things that you can play with many things that you can play with many tools that you can play with and it's still for free it's still for free and you do not need any coding to do this so yeah these are the basics of your request i hope i interpreted interpreted your request correctly because it's kind of uh, vague for me so yeah uh, subscribe like the video uh, if you have a request if you have a strategy that you think we can uh, try to do in FX streamer or the other tool the other EA builder that we use uh, leave it in the comment section below then definitely we'll try our best uh, to show you to teach you how to do it guys i'll see you in the next video bye